Hi, welcome back. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. So today we're gonna to be making these lovely cement. They could be pot holders, candle, vessels, whichever, but I'm making them. So today I'm showing you how to do it. And here's two that I tested on because I had first gotten these molds and I went and tested out two of them. And they had been sitting for like a day or two. And this is what they look like. After a couple of days, they, they lighten up a bit. And they have like a smooth texture on the bottom and all around. So they turned out really nice and they're currently still curing. It's so cute and lovely. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and plastic wrap this so it won't make too much of a mess on my paper. And I'm gonna use cement all and plastic of Paris. I'm using 50-50 of each, so that way I get all the benefits of each. And I'm doing my two to one ratio, so it's two cups of either cementol or plastic pears, whichever you use, and one cup of water. I'm going ahead and use my paint stick to stir. Um, you can use a, I guess like a little mini stir or a little hand blender. And here is a mold that I got. It's in the description below where I got it and I'm pouring and it's a little bit watery looking but since I mix it with plastic for Paris what happens is the hardening process is very quick so I'm working very quickly with it and even though it's watery it's gonna harden very quickly I'm gonna go ahead and tap around the mold so that way all the bubbles even though I mixed plastic with Paris bubbles are still <laughs> very very able to get into the product so I'm gonna go ahead and tap it and lift it and just move it around a bit shake it just give it some vibrations and you can always add or spray alcohol in the end to smoothen out that bottom and of course I'm using a hexagonal and a round circular mold and I'm pouring it right now it's still watery but you see that it's slowing down and that means that it's starting to dry up and if you're gonna use this method, go ahead and do it. I mean, I really like how the, the finished product is, but I have to work very quickly. And of course, I watched a video on Plaster Paris or plaster and um, cement, and I felt like both the qualities were missing from each other, so I decided to mix those two together. So I'm adding plaster Paris again with my one cup and the cementol and since I already have some in there you don't want to fill it all the way up with the water and as you can see two of those molds were able to be filled with just one cup of each so two cups so one cup basically fills your molds and then a half a cup of water for one mold and there I am just doing the process all over again and this also I didn't like the finish of what concrete looks like and so I wanted something a little more paler and a little more finished look for me but that's my preference it's totally up to you what you want to do if you want to do two cups of cementol and the one cup of water and have that little gray look that's fine but this is my preference this is how I make it and this is what works for me so I'm going ahead and refilling of course because I have six molds of each shape and so I'm trying to fill those because I want to do wholesale with these I'm doing that process all over again and make sure as you go on and that mixture you keep mixing it and there's still a little bit left it does dry faster and faster so by this round I'm already having a slow, a slower process, a slowed, harder looking um, mixture. And you can see towards the end there, it's getting really, really hard. But make sure you keep tapping and tapping, add those vibrations to the end. And you can see it's really starting to harden. So. And it gets really messy once it starts to get difficult. 
but that's because of the mixture. I think you have more wiggle room when it comes to working with just the cement. I'm gonna go let these sit. And you can wait four or six day later if you want. As long as you don't go before time and take these out because they probably will break or probably be too soft. And sometimes you can tell if they're too soft if they don't dry up as quickly as the other ones. Now these molds are fairly new and they, I'm gonna have to find something to make these come out a bit faster next time. Cause this, the hexagon one was a lot easier to take off, but the circular one, ugh, what a struggle. But I'm a new beginner to this, so don't mind me. Struggling a bit here. But I did end up being successful and it came out and turned out great. As you can see, as hard as I pull that thing out, it, none of it broke off and it's got a really nice smooth finish. And it does look a little gray. No, that's not really the color we want, but over time it will lighten. And I didn't get to show the demolding of the circle because I was so frustrated and I went over in a corner pulling them out all rough because they were so hard to maneuver with. But I'm gonna have to find something to make it easier to take these molds out. But this is all six of them and they turned out really great. And I even um, did one that I, fin I finished up the bottom and secured it. So they all have a pretty smooth finish. Like how they turned out. That one has a little gritty bottom, but nothing but sand, nothing sandpaper can't do, I guess. And here are my hexagonal ones. And if you notice, this one, I got so excited. It looks like a jellyfish. To me, it looked like a jellyfish. But after this cures, it probably won't even show anymore. But if you want that complete smooth one color, you probably want to use a hand mixer. The stir probably won't be enough. This one, I guess this is one of the ones that kind of got harder. So as it hardened, it wasn't filling up those air pockets as fast enough, as fast as it was drying. So it was drying faster than it was filling up the air pockets. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape up on the inside and then fill that hole in. That's not a good look. <laughs> It's not good at all and see if that works for it and the other side too there's like a little hole there but yeah, so I'll put the tape on the other side and patch that up yeah these turned out really well I like this mixture and I'm gonna start testing a lot of things on them to make sure this is the mixture I want to be sending out to the public. So you see about, you saw seven vessels, so therefore I have one of them that I had already previously did that I showed you. And this is me fixing the little patch and I have to, of course again, fix it some more. Hopefully it turns out right and I can just smooth it out when I sand it. And there's still little holes in there up again here there after a couple of days of being, of being cured as you can see you can't even tell the difference of the ones that I first did versus the new ones I did because they all cured and they all lightened so they look really nice and have a really nice finish and you can see some little projects I'm testing with painting it over here in the corner some designs. I'm gonna be working on some designs for these. Have some options with a natural look and see how that works out. But if you wanna see more of me painting these and more projects on this, they're coming, go ahead and subscribe and come back later for them.